In this video, we are going to see how to create events and proof source from Google Sheets. So let's say that you are using Google Sheets as a spreadsheet and every time you have got new data about your customer and the products bought, etc. So this, with this information, you want to create an event in proof source, which is a social proof marketing platform. Now the same thing can be done by integrating these two applications. And for this, you will need a software like Public Connect. Here your trigger application would be Google Sheets and your action application would be Proof Source. Now how can you do this, integrate and automate this entire process? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. Now, on the right hand side, you can see two tabs, sign in and sign up for free. If you already have an account with us, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in. Here we have reached the all applications page. We are going to click on access now for Pabli Connect. And now we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. I'm going to click on this. And now another dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is that I have got some details in my Google Sheets. And with the information that is there, I want to create an event in Proof Source. Now, what is Proof Source? So, Proof Source here is a social proof marketing solution that integrates different information such as product reviews, recent orders, or customer behavior to increase users' trust in your product or service. So, I'm going to name it as Google Sheets Proof Source Integration. And now let's click on create. As soon as we do that here, we have reached another window which has got two significant events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is the response to the trigger here. So action is basically do this. Now here, let's say that every time there is a new row added in my Google Sheet with some information about the customer and the product details, then automatically with that information, an event should be created on proof source. So here, my first application would be Google Sheets. Let's click on this. Now the trigger event. This is the event that will make your workflow start. And here it would be new or updated spreadsheet row. Now we have received a webhook URL. Basically, this is going to act as a bridge for connecting Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. I'm going to copy this and now I'm going to take you to the sheet that I have created. So this is my spreadsheet. The name is Proof Source Details and the column fields are first name, last name, contact number, email address, product name, product link, product image, currency and total amount. Now, to connect this with Public Connect so that it can access the information, I'm going to go to Extensions and there we have to go to Add-ons and then Get Add-ons. Once we are here, we have reached Google Workspace Marketplace. Here we have to look for the application Public Connect Webhooks. So let's click on this and you have to ensure that this is installed on your system. So I already have installed it. So once you are done, Remember, close it and also remember to refresh your page. That is extremely important. So once you have done that, again, go back to extensions. Here you can see Pabli Connect webhooks. And now you have to go to initial setup. One more thing to understand is you have to remember that you have put a check on send on event. Okay, now I'm going to take you to initial setup. Here you can see that the name of the sheet has already been captured by the system and here we have to provide the webhook URL. To receive this webhook URL, we are going to go back to Public Connect and now we are going to copy this, go back here and paste it over here. And now the trigger column. So the trigger column is your final data column on which the data is added. In this particular sheet, it is column I. So I'm going to write I over here and then click on send test. So as soon as we have done that, it is saying that the test data has been sent successfully. Let's click on submit. So once done, I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here you can see that we have received the API response. So this is the trigger column, the total amount, spreadsheet name. And as I take you down, this is the product name, link, image, then the first name and the last name of the user, email address, currency and contact number. 
Now, what is my objective? That with this information, I should be able to create an event in proof source. So the next action application would be proof source. Let's click on this. The action event here would be send event. I'm going to click on connect. Here, it is saying that Pabli connect is connected with proof source. Now here it is asking me to enter the webhook URL. Now how can you receive this? First you have to log into your proof source account. Once done, we have to follow this path. I'm going to take you to my proof source account. And here I have already created the webhook. Let me show you. So if I click on edit over here and here you can see track, then we have to go to webhook and here you can see the webhook endpoint. This is the URL that we need. I have already created this. I'm going to copy this down, go back to Pabli Connect and paste it over here. Once done, the email address. Now we are going to map the information. Mapping basically means that I have already received this information in my previous step and I'm just going to retrieve it here. And why is it important? Because I have to include new data every time. If I write the data manually here, it won't be able to receive the new data. So I'm going to now click on this. How do we map? We have to go to the previous step. And now let's look for the email address. This is it. For the first name, we are going to repeat the process. And here is our first name. Now let's look for the last name. So this is our last name. The reference ID, I can just leave it like that city, state, state code, country, country code, you can fill in this information. Now the name of the product. So this is the name of the product, dummy book. And then we have the product link. So this is the link. Then we have the image. So I have also received the image over here. Now the currency. So the currency here is INR. And what is the total amount? So the total amount is 2500. Once we have filled this information, let's click on save and send test request. So here we can see that it is saying that, you know, the integration is a success. So to understand if it is an actual success, I'm going to take you to my proof source. And here as we go to feed, so you can see that yes, demo user with this, I have created an event in proof source. So this is the amount currency, the source, email address, first name, last name, these are the products. And then we have the webhook ID and notification, which basically means that this integration process is a success. But now we also need to check it in real time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Google Sheets and I'm going to add another information over here. So this is the new information. And now as soon as I have filled this, what should happen? Automatically, an event should be created with these details in proof source. So let's quickly go back to proof source. And here, first I'm going to refresh this page. And yes, here you can see that with the name dummy test, an event has been created. This is the information. This basically means that now this integration process is a complete success and I'm going to take you back to Public Connect to understand the entire process. This was an extremely easy two-step integration process where first we had chosen our trigger the application as Google Sheets and the event was new or updated spreadsheet row. The action was proof source application where the event was sent event. I hope this is very much clear to you. This, this is one of the best social proof marketing solution. It is definitely going to help you display the notifications both online on your website, on your mobile website and in your mobile application. Now, if you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow. It is given in the description box. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any advice or suggestion, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Public Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.